welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is doing well so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to create your own magnetic business cards if you're doing your appointments face to face then this is a perfect you just place the business card on their refrigerator if you're doing yourself over the phone then you can just mail them the business card let them know and tell them to put it on the refrigerator so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like this video please give it a like a comment a subscribe and hit the notification bell okay so we're going to create our magnetic business card so go to create design and then we're going to go to business card. Let's see. Business card. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you how I create my business card. Of course, you do not have to copy the way I make mine. So I use this square here, okay? So, and then I turn it and I just make it long like this. Then I'm going to just push it down like that. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my picture for my downloads, for my uploads. So go ahead and find my picture that I want to use. So I'm going to use this picture. So I'm going to have my picture right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my logo. So I have my logo here. I don't want the life and Medicare insurance on the car. So I'm gonna just move this up like this, get rid of those words. And then I'm gonna just place this right here. So I have it right above my head here at the edge. Now I'm going to go ahead and change this color to this color. So just gonna click on this and go to here. And it actually has the colors that's very similar to what you have. So it has like this pink, the color of my shirt, um, and the darker pink, a lighter pink, and it has the blue that I want, which is the same color of my logo. So I'm gonna click on this. And then it changed the color for me. And if I want to make this lighter, I could just click on this color wheel and then adjust the color. I'm gonna make it a little lighter. A little lighter. Okay, I think that's the same color, I think. Okay. That looks like the same color to me. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add my phone number. So I'm gonna go to text and add text and it's gonna be right here. So I'm gonna put my business number here. Please do not call this number. This number is for clients or potential clients. So if you need assistance with life insurance, Medicare, or Obamacare, then you can call me. Other than that, please do not call this number. This is my business number, okay? All right, so we're gonna stretch this out, make it really big, and I like it. And the reason why I make my number really big is for my senior eyes. I want them to be able to find that number easily. Okay, so I have my logo, I have my picture, I have my number. So since I am a registered nurse, I like to have a stethoscope on here. So I'm going to find my stethoscope. I already have it loaded here. So let me find it right here click on it and then then i'm going to just place it over here i'm going to stretch it out a little bit and i want it kind of over this like that 
and I can move it as I see fit later. So now I want to go ahead. Actually, I don't want this logo on here. Actually, I'm going to get another logo, actually. Let me see something here. Okay. Okay, so actually I'm gonna remove this logo and add this one. Okay, make it smaller. Because I changed my mind, I actually do want it to say life and Medicare insurance. I would like this background to be a very light gray instead of white. Okay, so let's see if I could do that. So let's see, there's this gray. So I want it a little lighter. So let's see, almost white, but it's really a really light gray color. So now I gotta see if I could change, I can't change this color. That's why I wanted the other logo on here. I see, I see. How did I do that? So this is all about trial and error, right? Hmm. In order to have this all light gray, I would have to remove this logo actually. <laughs> all right, guys, just hang on there with me. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, this is what I want. This one has no background. So that's what I want, okay. And I will show you guys how to remove your background, okay? So don't worry about that. I will show you that as well. Okay, so far so good, I like it. So far I like it. Okay, so I like my business card to look very clean and straight to the point. So the purpose of this business card, like I said, is to place it on the refrigerator. So all I want really as my contact information is my phone number. You don't have to do that, okay? But that's my preference. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my name, okay? So go back to text. And I'm going to add my name. Now you guys know my full name, if you didn't know. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this smaller like this. And let's move this like so. Let's stretch this out. I think I need space here, there we go. I like it so far. Okay. And if you want to change the text, you can just click on it. And then you have all the options right here to change it to whatever you want. I'm going to keep it like it was nice and bold for my senior eyes. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to just add my title. So I'm gonna add this heading right here. I'm gonna move it, of course, make it a little bigger. And I'm going to say insurance broker, capital I. I'm gonna add another heading. And then I'm gonna just say Medicare specialist.
Okay, I'm gonna make this a little bigger. So this is nine. So I want this to match, of course. So 9.6, so let's just do 9.6 for both. 9.6. Gonna just move this a little bit like that. Line them up together. Okay, so far I like this. I'm gonna make this a little bigger. Bring it down just a little bit. I like where this is positioned. Nice and simple business card. I love it. Now, if I wanted to add a little something, like say I wanted to add my website, we could just add the website here if I wanted to. Move this down. Life and med dot com. Maybe I want to change the format of Life and Med just to make it stick out a little more. Mm, don't really like that. Let's see what else options I have here. I think that looks pretty simple. What do you guys think? I could either take out Life in Med or leave it. Now I'm going to show you how you can actually print your card. You could print your card on Canva, but I just feel like they're kind of expensive. So what I would do is download the card, right? So you want to download your card. I'm not going to download it. So we're going to go to a website called you printing okay you printing and let's see how much it costs to get these business cards printed i think it's youprinting.com okay so we're here and let's see if we could find magnetic business cards on this website you can do all kinds of things on this website. You can do your brochures. You can do these little sign yards right here. You can say something like Obamacare with your phone number, Medicare help, free Medicare help with your phone number, all kinds of cool things for marketing and leads. I'm looking for magnetic business cards. Let me see. Okay, so magnetic business cards. So let's see. So this is your standard size for $25, $34. So let's see how much it is for a thousand cards. Okay, not bad. So for a thousand cards, they are $84. So basically eight cents each. And basically you would just upload your business card after you download it right here. So that's that. So that's how you create your business card and that's how you print your business cards. Okay, so let's talk about how can you remove a background image. First off, I need an image <laughs> to show you guys how to remove the background. So let me find an image here. I have not used this computer. So let's see. All right, let's do this black and white picture. Hopefully I could put this. How can I save this? Okay, download. All right, so I'm gonna download this picture. And then I'm going to remove the background. So save it to my desktop. Remove background. So we're going to go to remove 
www.remove.bg. Okay, so we're going to click on this link. And all you have to do is upload your image right here. Okay, so upload the image. And this is 100% free. I love this site. I use this for all my background removing projects, all of them. So let me go to downloads. Hopefully the picture, oh, the picture is right here. So now we're going to see what it looks like. We're removing the background. Voila, it did a perfect job. You can edit this as well. Say it didn't remove everything. You could go to edit and you go to this eraser and then you could remove the background that it did not remove. So for example, say my eye was removed. So see, it removed it. Now I'm going to go ahead and place my eye back. Wait, <laughs> by hitting restore. So there you go. Nice, I love this. Okay, so you can also do some other cool things with this as well. So let's go to, I believe, a background. And look at these cool things that you could do with this. Like you can have these cool, ooh, I might have to post this one on my, ooh, I like this. I might have to post this. I may have to post this, guys, on my IG. I haven't posted on my IG in a while. So I may have to download this and post this. I like this. This is so freaking cute. Like, I'm just sitting at a restaurant chilling. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm posting this for real. But look at all the other options. Cute, right? Okay, so the restaurant. I really love the I'm going to literally post this restaurant on my Instagram, like, right now. So I love this. So I'm going to download this. This is so freaking cute. I have to download this. Okay. So what else can you do with this? You can make it blurry as well. Like, for example, look at that. That is dope. That is dope. Like, I love this. I love this site because it's free. It's free. So you can blur it like that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, guys, I'm going to download this because go ahead and follow me on Instagram because I'm going to download this and you can see this on my Instagram. This is so cute. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and download this because I, I actually like this. So download image. So now I have my new image. But the purpose was <laughs> the purpose was to remove the background. So hopefully you guys got that. So once you remove the background, so let's go back. To that download image so i have both right so now let's go back to canva all right so we're back in canva and i'm going to go ahead and just come out of this because canva will automatically save this business card for me so i'm going to go to home just to show you guys so here's the business card that we literally just worked on so it's always going to be here for me to go ahead and print out my business card on uprinting.com. Now I want to show you how that background looks. So I'm going to just click back on here and I'm going to upload my no background picture. All right. So go to upload media device. Now I have to find that picture. So here we go. We have remove background. I believe it's this one, let's see. Open, oh, this is the one with the restaurant background. So let's do that again. So it's probably this one. Okay, so now we have our removed background and it's just throw it on the business card just to show you how it looks. There you go. That's how you remove your background. Obviously I wouldn't want a black and white photo on my business card, but just want to show you guys that. And we could just delete this.